Right everyone, following day. I'm about to open the gold parcels right now. Just coming from Amazon. Let's see what it was. Right everyone, so hopefully this is what I think it is. Apologies about the audio on the last vlog. Hopefully this one's gonna come out all right. It's a duvet. So exciting. So excited right now. Yeah, but like Harley, why are you getting excited over duvets? That's a good question, guys. I appreciate you asking that. Just trying to sort out my spare rooms and I've got to get a bunch of stuff in so that I can make them actual rooms. So that's new and exciting. I'm gonna use this as my transition. Are you ready? Right, everyone. Back at the house. Got a few little bits and bobs to do. I thought I would hop into a little time lapse of what's really going on. Simon's getting a little session on in there and I am just gonna get on some chores. So let's hop into a time lapse of getting this room sorted. This is the one guys, if you're on that life. Winner. Yes, guys, finally done. Now we're gonna go to the gym because I'm absolutely dying, but I wanna get a workout in, so I'll see you guys at El Gimnasio. What is up, everyone? We're in Pure again, smashing out a cheeky little arm session today. Got about half an hour, if that, so I'm just basically gonna get through as much as we possibly can. <sighs> I'm just gonna show you guys a couple clips. It's just me filming, so I'm just gonna set the camera up, get a couple angles, and get into this naughty little workout. All right, you guys, so I wanted to start off this workout with a voiceover and give you guys a quick run through as my top tips for smashing your arms within 20 or 30 minutes. These are the things that I like to do in my training when I'm short for time and generally just great to do for an arm workout anyway. This is a bicep focus. We're not doing triceps in this portion of the video. But if you guys want to learn a little bit more about some tricep exercises, I'll do a separate video for you guys explaining how we can blast those triceps. So as you can see here, I set the bench up at a 45 degree angle. I've got my chest sticking outwards and pushing my traps into the bench and that keeps me nice and stable. The two points of contact there will be my coccyx and my traps at the top of the bench and that big arch there was hopefully helping me push my chest out and stretch right from my shoulders to squeeze the elbows and basically target the, the peak portion of the bicep that we're trying to get that tennis ball effect. As you can see here we moved on to a hammer curl with two arms and as I get fatigued I'll go down to a single arm or an isolate seated. I've got a slight swinging motion going here that's just because I'm trying to squeeze out those last few reps. Is it okay to swing? That's the question that a lot of people ask me. The answer is yes it is perfectly fine to swing whilst you're doing certain movements as long as they're controlled for most of your exercise and then towards the end as you fatigue then you will naturally have a swing just helping you get the weight up where you need to. One thing I wanted to mention here guys is that it's not always about the weight that you work with. As you can see I'm only working with 10 kilos here. I did go down to 6 kilos to really squeeze that bicep and just focus on the form. And half the time a lot of people pick up the heaviest weights in the gym and curl them thinking that's what's going to make them stronger and give them bigger muscles. But really it's about the intensity of the contraction of the muscle and how important it is to actually squeeze the muscle you're trying to target rather than ego lifting. We all know that we shouldn't be ego lifting but it's a standardised tip that I wanted to give to you guys is, is to lift light and to focus on the form when you're going for turning. And if you're going for strength, then obviously you will build that weight up every period of time. But really, it just comes down to safety first. So do whatever you choose in your training, but these are just my, my top few tips really for this lovely little bicep superset. I hope you guys enjoyed that portion of the workout. I'll check in with you guys in a minute. All right, everyone. I was gonna show you guys through the whole workout, but I decided to put it on the Instagram stories instead. So I'll just pop the clips on the screen now, showing you guys that superset. Awesome, awesome 15 minute burnout. If you guys wanna do that, you can also do it with a barbell and on the cable with the variations. But it's really up to you guys. Hope that was useful. I'm gonna grab food, so I'll speak to you in a bit. All right, everyone, new day. Out and about. It's a lovely morning, we're heading to B&Q to grab a couple of bits. Right everyone, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, voiceover from the previous bicep workout you saw from the other day. If you guys want to come and say hey, or do a little collab, or 
get together or chat or just become friends, do DM me on Instagram because I like making friends. Like Mr. Jordan did right here. You guys can go check out his Instagram. Hey, what's up guys? Repping the stuff right there. He's also got a channel as well. So if you guys want to go and check it out, I'll pop a link in the description. We're going to head to Pure and get on a little chest workout or like a push day just because I want a little 45 minute push session on. Get them gains out here. Yeah, buddy. Anyway, I'm not going to film the workout. I'm just going to put a little bit of Instagram stories on so you guys can see that. Have you guys ever realized why does everything happen all at once? As you can see, lots of things arriving. Look downstairs. Lots of things there, lots of things there. There's always so much to do on the weekends, I swear. So I have to be honest with you guys and say that life isn't always exciting. Sorting out rooms, rooms up here. Loads of sorting there. There's just so much that I have to do. And for the last few hours, I've basically just been trying to get everything organized. And I've got tenants arriving and there's all sorts going on. So I'm gonna head downtown, grab a couple more bits. And I'm probably not gonna show you guys much from today because it's just one of those days of doing chores. And I don't want to bore you guys, this is a fitness channel really, fitness lifestyle, but I don't wanna go overboard. So hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy this workout. It's gonna be an edit, so sit back, relax, because we haven't done the edit in a while. And it's gonna be awesome, so I'm super excited. Let's get into it. So I was gonna do a full edit, got into the gym and just decided that it wasn't the right time for me to film. I was chatting to people, I was having a good time, I was having a good workout and I just wanted to get in the zone, get in and out of the gym. So I apologize. However, there will be some big, big, big projects coming for the channel, which I'm super excited about and it's gonna be amazing content. So I'm very excited to work with a couple of different people and generally produce some sick ass content for you guys. That's gonna be awesome. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you wanna see that awesome content. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, it's gonna come within the next month, fingers crossed, and it will be there. It's gonna be really, really good. High quality, premium edits coming your way. As I said, it's been a while since I made a, um, a workout edit, and the reason was was because I really got a little bit bored of making the same style of content. When I first created my channel, I literally just was constantly producing content that was workouts and motivation, and, and it was just filming me working out, basically, and there wasn't really much sort of uh, knowledge or education behind what I was, you know, putting out there as content. And I just wanted to take a second to film this clip to finish off the video and to chat to you guys about the topic of the video, which is my training splits, what I'm currently doing in my training. Obviously I spoke about my maintenance previously in the other vlogs. Um, if you guys subscribed, you see you would know that. Um, but basically I just wanted to chat to you guys about my training splits, what it is I'm doing in my training, what I find to be beneficial nutrition wise and also my cardio aspects that I spoke about previously. I did just touch on it in the last video. Um, but be sure to go and check that out. So first things first, my training spits, how do I break them up? Obviously, if you guys are subscribers on the channel, then you'll know that I often follow a 12, 12, 10, 8 split. I start off my first set with 12 reps, the second is 12, the third is 10, and the fourth is eight. The reason that is, is because I'm trying to build up the tempo there and build up that hypertrophy, but I always start with 12 reps and then work my way down. So as the reps go down, the weight goes up. It's as simple as that. That's sort of the general stepping stones that I choose to take. Um, that is, there, there, are, there are equivalent programs out there where you can do, um, you know, whatever volume of reps you want in the start, as long as you're getting heavier towards the end, then it doesn't necessarily matter. But for an optimal rep range, you wanna look for probably anything from 12 reps onwards is gonna be considered hypertrophy, generally speaking, because it's a lighter weight, right? So hypertrophy made very simple, guys, is literally just gaining muscle mass, okay? A lot of people train for strength, a lot of people train for size, I always think of hypertrophy as doing a combination of the two. So you're trying not to lose the strength, but you're also trying to gain as much muscle as you possibly can. That's how I always try to explain to people. Um, it's what I often train myself. It's the style that I go for. And a lot of people like that style because um, they're gaining size throughout the year and then they might test their strength every month or every couple of weeks or so. It really just depends. You might do one rep max. You might, it really just depends. Um, some people do it for sort of nine months at a time and then do like a shred or a mini cut. Where, where they might 
lose strength, right? And then they might chuck in a strength regime. It really just depends on what goal you're trying to go for. But me personally, I would say um, nine months of the year at least, I'd probably say I'm bulking, so to speak, which will be hypertrophy and then the occasional strength training. Um, you can also adopt the NSUN's 531 program, which is something that I do. I also tried a 5x5 five five program, which I also, I probably preferred over the 531. Um, but generally speaking, I have always trained for hypertrophy. And that just is my preference when it comes to training. I want to gain the most size as possible whilst maintaining the strength that I possibly can, um, which is a very hard thing to balance. So for me personally, that is, that is my goal, but I, I don't always tend to, to be able to do that. If you're an absolute beginner when it comes to the gym, then the first thing you're going to want to look at is how to create workout plans. I've made other videos on that before, but to sum it up for you, do your research. It, it is very simple. You don't need to pay for anything when you first go to a gym. You don't need to have a personal trainer when you first go to the gym. You don't even need to go to a gym to get in shape, but it's just recommended because all the weights and everything's there, right? But at the end of the day, it's a place for you to go. So it's a social environment. It's going to keep you committed to going. Um, and also, it's, there's people around you. So generally speaking, you'll feel a little bit more motivated when there's people around you. For me, personally, that's what works anyway. So when it comes to my training splits throughout the week, what do I train? I often train five to seven days a week, okay, which is a lot. I wasn't training five to seven days a week in the beginning. As a novice, I would probably try and cap it at three days a week and then push it up to five days a week over a period of time because in the beginning, that rest time is gonna be beneficial for you, but as the as the older or the older you get in your training years, the more experienced you get. This would be my coming up to my third year of training, or two years and a bit. So if you're an absolute beginner, definitely recommend starting off on three days a week, push it to five days a week, and then generally just see how you feel. The typical bro split would be a Monday through Friday split of you know, each muscle group broken down for an individual day, um, where you isolate each muscle group with a compound at the beginning of each exercise, and then you build isolation exercises around that. For example, Monday would be a chest. This is just off the cuff. Monday would be chest. Your first exercise would be barbell bench press. Then you might do dumbbell, flat bench, or incline press. You might do um, cable flies. You might do press fly, press fly variations. For example, what that could be cable, barbell, dumbbell, anything. That's just an example, right? Six to eight exercises is the rep range I tend to choose for my hypertrophy program on a 12, 12, 10, eight. So to make that very, very simple, okay? Here's your list of exercises for your chest workout, okay? Out of those six to eight exercises, you will pick those depending on how you feel at the time. So if you've done a lot of pressing, you're not gonna to wanna to continuously wanna do pressing exercises, right? You're gonna to wanna to do a fly variation of some kind. So for me, for me personally, I like doing a split of a press, a fly, a press, a fly. And if I wanna chuck in a superset or a drop set, I can do that there and then, but it doesn't need to necessarily be planned, okay? Six to eight exercises, and I will judge that based on the intensity of how I want to work out that day. So if I want a longer rest time and to push heavier weights, then I will do so. If I want to maintain that optimal pace in terms of the rep ranges, in terms of the form, all of these factors are coming into play, then I would really take my time and manage that effectively. So I might get my phone out and start timing how long my rests are and stuff like that. But that's just when you're taking things a little bit more seriously. As an absolute beginner, I would start off with a basic plan of six to eight exercises, which is a lot of exercises for four sets, which is quite a long time. I'd say that takes me about two hours to do that, okay? So in the beginning, you might wanna do a little bit less exercise. You might wanna only do three to five exercises for those variations. Does that make sense? For those, for those individual exercises, you'll then adapt your 12, 12, 10, eight program around that, okay? So how do you decide which weight to start with when you're using your 12, 12, 10, eight? And this is personally what works for me. This is not what I would recommend for everyone at all, but this is for me as an individual who is lean and looking to gain lean muscle mass. Personally, the 12 to 8 worked for me. It was great. Um, I did six to eight exercises. I did them with 30 seconds to a minute rest between each set, and I did that basically for the last two years. And I adapted that around chucking in mini cuts, um, strength days, and generally mixing up the exercises with um, hit cardio and other, and other bits and bobs. So, Generally speaking, just mix up your training, but also have some sort of structure every now and then. It's very good for you to maintain and make progression in the gym. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate the support. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the amazing content, and I'll see you in the next video. The previous video is gonna be right there, so be sure to go and check it out. And the subscribe button is gonna be right there. So I really appreciate the support, guys. If you could just go and smash that subscribe button and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed the sick content. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.